Hey guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create some objects which are behind the user in this bug AR studio for your Instagram filters. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a filter where we have some objects behind the user here in this bug AR studio. Before we start creating the filter, make sure you have ready all your assets you want to use for this filter. I will use two pictures. Um, the first one will be a palm tree picture and the second one will be a sun picture. So when you have them ready, just select it and then just import it per drag and drop into your assets panel to your Spark AR studio. So after you have imported the pictures, make sure you set the compression to none. To do this, just select all of your textures, go to the right hand side and here set the compression to none. Um, at all three options here. So, after you have done this, we need to extract two things from our camera object. The first will be the camera texture and the second one will be the segmentation mask texture. To do this, go to your scene bundle, click on the camera, then go to the right hand side and here at texture extraction, click on the little plus next to it. So, the second thing is go down to segmentation and also click on the little plus next to hit it and here just select person. Now you should have two new textures in your assets panel, the camera texture zero and the segmentation mask texture zero. So the next step is to create the material um, for our assets which we can use to um, yeah, link it to some objects. The first material I will create will be my person material which yeah, segmentates the person from the background. For this I will go to the little plus at the assets panel and here select material. I will rename this material to person. So after I've created this, I will again, um, after selecting the material to the right hand side and here set the shader type to flat. Now for the diffuse, um, here at the texture select the camera texture. Then go down to alpha, activate it and here select the segmentation mask texture. So now we have created the material for our person. Now I need another two materials and um, so let's just create them. If you have more assets you need of course more materials. So the next thing will be the material for my palm tree. So I will again create a new material. We'll call this palm tree. Then again go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and here that adds my texture, I will use the palm tree texture. And the last material, again, shader type to flat, will be my sun. So after we have created the materials, we have to do one important step here. This is really important, so make sure you do this. So select all your materials. Oh, I will rename this material to sun. Select all materials or once at a time, for example, person, then go to the right hand side, go all the way down at the properties to advanced render options. Open this and here you see this use dev test and write to dev. And here just deselect them. So, and then just do this at all materials. You can also, of course, select all of them and do it all at once, but yeah, I will do it at every single material. So after we have done this, we are ready to create some objects in our scene. So we go to our scene panel and the first will be my um, palm tree, which I want to have in the background. So for this, I go to this little plus at the scene panel and here I will search for rectangle. Now Spark AR will automatically create a canvas object and also a rectangle object. So I will rename this rectangle object to palm tree so I know which layer will be which picture and then go to the right hand side and here I will set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. And then I will select as material my palm tree. So I have my palm tree here and um, this is a texture in a 9 to 16 format so it yeah, fits perfectly here in the screen. But we have one problem here. You see it that, yeah, I'm behind the texture and not as we want it in front of it. So for this, we need a new rectangle. So I will create a new rectangle and I will rename this to person. So 
Then again, I will go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. And now you can already see that this new um, layer is in front of our palm tree. And now I will go to, down to materials and here I will select the person material. And now the palm tree is yeah, behind me and this is that what we want but you have to also keep in mind something here when we go down to, uh, go back to our scene and here at the canvas object we have the palm tree and also the person so when we want to have the palm tree in front of the person we just have to drag and drop the person layer in front of the palm tree so it has this order and now the palm tree is in front <clears throat> of the user so but i want to that the person is in front of the palm tree so i will go with this order so the next thing we have to create is our sun layer for this i won't use a rectangle i will use a plane so you also um, get to know how to use this with 3d objects so for this i go again to my scene click on the little plus and then search for a plane object now the plane object is here in front of my face and yeah I then select the plane, we'll rename it to sun, go to the right hand side again and select as material the sun. So at the moment my sun is in front of my face and yeah I want to change the, the position of the sun first so I will just drag and drop it here with, in the 3D space to, to the position I want it. So I think here is a good place but at the moment it is in front of my face as you can see so to change this again go to your scene panel and just um yeah play around with the order when we yeah drag and drop the sun um, in front of our canvas object it will be behind my head so yeah now you can play around with the order of the layers so yeah when it is in front of this canvas object it will be in front of my face and when it is here above the canvas object it will be yeah, behind so this is all the magic about the yeah about objects behind the user just play around with the layers and make sure you have um yeah deselected the advanced render options this is really really important to do this so yeah i hope i could help you with this video if yes give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye